Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is being brought to you as a part of the many things that Pointless creates. For our returning listeners, thank you so much for coming back. And if this is your first episode, welcome, get comfortable, and please keep an open mind. Welcome back, folks. Today is what, Tuesday? Backside. You press play? I lie. Hello. Good night. <laughs> good night. Good morning. Good afternoon. Whenever y'all listen yeah, to Yeah, no, don't mind me, Miss Silla. Try to get myself together. Long weekend. Okay. Long weekend. Yes. Yes, indeed. All right. So, um, carrying on the trend, good gal of, for July is me because my birthday is Friday. So, anyways. Um, Yay. Um, Speaking of, I did do a code for the crafts page and I've been adding stuff to the website. So if y'all want to wish me happy birthday, y'all can save some moolah on whatever's on the website. Um, mm-hmm. Literally, happy birthday, no rubs, space, rubs all caps. Fingers together. Just a say, you know, just come spend like a kind. Um, I have also, <laughs> I've also, um, I created a crowdfund on PayPal just so that we can fund this shit because I really want to do this shit like, properly bring y'all some video or whatever like i look on with face and thing mm-hmm. but um i'm not trying to do no slap dash shit so you know I'm more coins dash. no i'm gonna really want to do the you know half ass mm-hmm. thing or whatever so there's that um the code for the um the crafts page for y'all who don't know it's pointless talk slash crafts um that's running until the end of the month so you have until the end of july to type in happy birthday and save some money so there's that um do i really want to talk about what's going on in the world that's that's the question which part it depends like so it, wait first of all you said it like that so it sounds like it's not gonna be too great so <laughs> <laughs> i don't even really have much to talk about um right. it's just the things that i do have to talk about it's kind of like uh <laughs> dreary yeah, in a way, in a way. Um I I told you about this yesterday. The baby that was found unresponsive in daycare. Yes, in um, daycare. Yeah. Yeah. So the baby's name is Tavon and he was unresponsive when his folks went to go pick him up from daycare. Um Yeah. He was dropped off, what was it? Lincoln Marty Childcare in Homestead, Florida. And his step grandmother was like, you know, he was fine this morning, so I don't understand what could have happened. So around one thirty, they received a call that the child stopped breathing, and yeah, like the baby only been going there a few months, but still, it's like, imagine you go drop off your baby somewhere, and then you go pick yeah, them up, and the baby's know. unresponsive. I can't imagine. I can't. I can't. You don't understand. If I yeah. have to imagine that, I have to imagine myself I'm in going prison to prison, well, and I don't yes. want to do anything like that. <laughs> and that's the shit I be thinking about because I'm like, I have like friends and shit who have kids, and I'm like, dog, <sighs> dog. Okay. Like me personally, I always said that. Like I know everybody's situation doesn't allow for that, but the first couple years of my child's life, I want to be home so that I can make sure that they're okay. I don't have to worry about, you know, entrusting them with strangers or whatever, because at the end of the day, I am going to prison if something happens to my child. And then the thing is like, at that age, you can't, they can't tell you anything. 10 months old, they're barely like, you know what I'm saying? That's what gets me. So like, mm, that shit bun me up. So it's like, I hear stuff like this and I'm like, bro, like, and my thing is, it's a developing story, so I don't know what happened. You don't know if it's, like, an internal failure or if something happened to the baby or, like, somebody at the place did something to them. It's just, like, but my thing also with that is, why does it take for the parent or guardian to come pick up the child to know that something's wrong with the child? Wrong with the child, right. That's the problem, that's all. That is exactly Like, if something happened naturally or, like, you know, they went to go check on the baby and they said, oh, shit, baby, now move, you call the parent and say, hey... Ray Tay Tay or call the hospital, call somebody, but the babies are unresponsive. Who knows for how long? Exactly. Until the parent or whoever comes and picks them up and it's like, what? Oh, spaghetti Like, what? Sorry. And then you take, and then you take <laughs> the baby to the hospital or they had the baby rushed I to the hospital wrong. and they're pronounced dead at the hospital. I'm just like, bruh, like not even yeah. a year old. 
I'm just not righted like that. Yeah, like, no. Me ignorant differently when not, it comes to certain I things. I'm really not good that way. Like, yeah. certain things really get me drunk My, out. You know, I've said it before. My soft spot. Children, the and disabled, old and old people. Like, yes, girl. them three yes, categories. Ma'am. I will, listen. <laughs> Like Same. you regular average age niggas can you can eat my ass. Like, fuck off. But yeah, like my ass. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like group? yeah. Mm-mm. Like y'all be ugh ugh. There's no Just, respect for not one of them. That shit's not crazy to me. At all. But um Jagit. <laughs> at all. Not even blinking a direction. Like yeah, tell you. <laughs> that shit wild. Like I don't know, but um, that's kind of like you know that trend of people like helping homeless people and like recording it. I hate that shit so fucking much. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Like them giving something because there's a few people you know who are out there in the street and they're doing all this work. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah, no, follow. that's different. Like if you're doing like philanthropy work and yeah. like you know volunteer work, whatever, spreading okay, awareness okay. that whatever, that's something about, like, different. The people are doing it for fucking TikTok, shit. yes, and like have yeah. them doing dumb shit for money, like. These niggas are not performers. Yeah. Like, well, what? That, that I'm at the is. gas station yesterday, and I hear somebody talking. I thought he was on a speaker, but I turn around, and then there's this guy that's obviously, like, displaced. And there's this guy recording him in front of the gas station, like, making him say, like, some dumb skit. And, like, he's, like, going over it over and over again. And I'm just like, what the fuck is happening here? And then guess what happens? He's done. He's like, all right, bro, thank you. This nigga jumps in his Mustang and drives off. The nigga's still sitting on the curb at the gas station. Probably gave him a dollar or something. And I was just like... Nasty work. <laughs> Nasty work. <laughs> like, I was... Like, I went in the gas station, paid for gas, pumped my gas, and they still out there doing it. And I'm just like, seriously? Like... People telling that puppy show. Yo... Oh no, wicked man! Like I, I always about people like, like what is that? Somebody in your family? They don't care, bro. They don't. That shit's ridiculous. But um, the world we living in, sweetheart. It it sure is, and it is really disturbing because like the care for human life is just kind of like hmm. oh oh on the floor, like no. on the floor. I guess yeah, on the floor, on the floor. I guess um. The something I sent you earlier. Do you know about that? The something um was it Quiet Perry was talking about with a girl that's missing? I don't. I listened to it like last night before I went to sleep because mm-hmm. I was just like, "What's going on?" Because mm-hmm. there's always something going on in Jamaica these days, and it just looked like some cover up one with some police mm-hmm. something. I looked like the girl missing. But it looked like the police was sleeping with she and him of Oman and the girl and Oman. Also, it's a police up. officer. That Correct. makes it make more sense yes, now. That's what I'm okay. So it like they might hide something now and they can't find oh, the girl. Oh, shit. So, but I'm not really too, I never looked too far in it. So, coming and out with my Because I just looked it up and she's 24 years old. She was mm-hmm. reported missing yeah. by her mother on July 13th. Yeah, yeah. And then the police, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Wow. Exactly. Not me for critter. You know, anything about it that like always kills me is when they say, I just want to find her dead or alive. Like at that point, you can't do like an anonymous tip and say, hey, she dead, yeah, so whatever, whatever, just to give the family some kind of like relief. No, so they're not on this like however many that. days search or whatever, trying to find the person that's missing. Like, well, my wow. thing is, if you think so, if somebody taking somebody, you think they're gonna be doing all that, friend? Yeah, <laughs> it's not happening. It's not happening. They're not doing that. Wow, girl, we is in trouble, child. We are in trouble. Father's a child with a district constable. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! A two police officer. So, a man and baby mother police. But Jesus Christ, you know what? Yeah, this is this math. And now I understand what's happening because I just looked it up. And apparently police constable Maitland, who took her to his apartment, blah, blah, blah. He's stationed at Constant Spring Police Station. Father's a child with a district constable. Constable Smith of Halfway Tree Police Station. But Jesus, do I want to... Not Halfway Tree. Let me go Halfway Tree, that's all. Hmm. It's giving corruption. 
Kansan Spring Police and Halfway Tree Police mm-hmm. mash up mm-hmm. in that things. Listen, whatever is done in the dark is always gonna come Hold to on. the light. Live, 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 live reporting. Who are there? Who are there? So I'm gonna put a Twitter like I'm just open the phone. You see mm-hmm. this? What am I talking about? How many you want to say about the same sex marriage something? What? Mm-hmm. The house passes bill um codifying same sex marriage. Mm-mm. I never hear about that. Three hours ago, because you know Twitter oh. be giving me the news. Yeah, that's literally. I haven't been on Twitter today. That's my the problem. The House voted Tuesday yes. to protect same-sex marriage from a potential future rollback by the Supreme Court. Period. Well, thank you so much. So I can Period. go get gay married. Listen. <laughs> oh, I'm about to be petty. The fact that I just said that you're listening, you already know what I'm talking about. But <laughs> that's <Shadow>. funny. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So yes, same sex marriage is gonna be recognized at the federal level. So y'all states can suck ass. <laughs> That's legit Let's what that go. means. Okay. Well, thank you. So what about the female reproductive system? No? We're still not. not. Didn't didn't Biden do something? Oh yeah, Biden did sign did. something the other day for that. I wanna know what <laughs> after that. Sounds oh like the God. US to me. Votes oh two sixty seven to one fifty seven. Wow. To, to, oh, Too to, fucking oh, same sex and interracial. Of course. Yeah, the rest of, of the 14 row versus. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, so what was that? that? Okay, y'all run ahead and go gay, gay marry now, y'all. Okay, so <laughs> run good game. You know it's gonna be like everybody's like, oh shit, we thought we lost it. Let's go do it now. Yeah, like when know, they first we, made we the shit legal. Mm-hmm. Like, shit, we gotta be next. Like, <laughs> Okay, so what was it? The on July eighth, Biden signed something about oh yeah, to expand access to abortion pills, beef up enforcement of Obamacare birth control coverage mandate, and stand up to an army of pro bono lawyers to help defend people criminally charged of seeking or providing the procedure. Okay, that's what he signed. That's I mean, nice. My name, my name, pussy facts. Why you don't get the fuck? Off? I mean, <laughs> I just can't stand it. Get away. Like, <laughs> y'all don't stick around no way. Like, move. Like, exactly. Move. So, why y'all want <laughs> to bring the these children into the world? Like, exactly. But, <laughs> you find something you was looking for? With something I look for? You say I look for something. Me, say so? Yeah, before we start record. Yeah, I look for something for Tabo. Weird. Is something we're supposed to talk. I don't know. Something I forgot again. Let me forget again. Oh shit. Oh my gosh. No. Weird. All right. Well, until I can't remember that one day. Let me go back. All right. Sesame Street. Oh Boy, yes. Speaking of gay marriage. Mm-mm. <laughs> Bert and Ernie. Um, Anyways. Exactly. I didn't see them rope up in the foolishness. So, you know, I'm in a two. What 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 it what the girl name? What's your name? Where did I skip over I people them? I don't ro, 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 Rosina ro, Rosita, Rosita, like Rosina, whatever. I'm gonna go cartoon. You know them one day. Yeah, I'm gonna know that oh, one okay. day. So this video going around for those who videos. don't know whatever. Videos of this Rosita. What do you call them shits? The the puppets, Muppets, whatever yeah, the, the fuck the they costume, are. You know, these um character They're costumes at, that what you is people it? put on at parties and parades and mm-hmm. shit and walk around in those things. They were at a um oh. actually was it Sesame Street Palace or some shit like that? Or Sesame Palace, some fuck or so. Sesame Palace, maybe. Um, so these people are bringing their kids to go enjoy mm-hmm. these stupid, you know, these stupid characters. And they are Sesame here, Place. You know, they, they want to get hugged and kiss, you know, mm-hmm. hey, I'm seeing Take my pictures or at least get waved at. Right. It's like me if I would have seen Barney back in the day. Yay, Listen, bitch, baby bop for me. Come on. <laughs> right. And it's like every time there's a little black baby, there's like three or four different videos showing little black babies trying to hug or, you know, just kind of get acknowledged by this character. And the character kind of just, nope. Like kinda glosses like over me. them. Like legit hides means these <laughs> little kids and then somehow always hugs a white kid instead. Yes. They hug a white like, kid. There's a black kid right there. They jump over seconds. that little black child and go to the 
immediately after or turn their back and walk away or just conveniently just and the child is waving the parent is being loud to grab their attention or whoever's with them so it's not like the kid is just like being timid and just like "Hmm." no like they're like arms fully outstretched waving like oh my god rosita whatever the fuck Exactly. And the just mom is there, like, hey, da da da, whatever, <laughs> and they just like bloops, just nah, like completely just overlook them. And I would like to fight, yeah, plain and simple. Nasty. I didn't like that either. I didn't like it at all. I didn't yeah. like it. Back on the same There's subject no of if you make my baby feel like that, bitch. I am taking off the head off that fucking costume, <laughs> and we make, going make, at make, it. Make. <laughs> make make make. Listen, bitch. <laughs> You going at it because you're not doing my baby like that. No way. Like, especially if you're still hugging kids. I can understand if it was like the end of the parade and y'all was wrapping up and my child was trying to be extra, but you are in the middle of the my parade. Is, hugging none, don't hug none. Exactly. Nobody no, nobody no posh out. Don't hug nobody then. Yeah, that shit just looked bad. And you see on video, there's like we saw like three, four videos of it, like different instances, different parts of the crowd. Right. And the same character is just being like a butthole Nasty. like uh, and it's like this little thing that the person is doing that makes it worse like a little hand like no mm-hmm. kind of thing and it's like bitch, like don't oh, do that uh-uh. to my kid like is you crazy all right yeah, I'm like, yeah see shit like this just today. makes me be like am i ready to have children because i'm wrapped no, a different kind of right. way right. like i'm like, ignorant I'm ripped, listen sweep sweep that's <laughs> it on your ass like no and the baby like, looking around like damn ma, like Ugh. for real like what like, happened uh-oh. and i'm just like oh shit. one of them the mom is like oh it's okay baby it's okay and i'm just like it ain't okay. no it's not to no, tell it's them not. that rosita's an asshole yes tell them to stop watch rosita don't support uh, absolutely no uh, more, no more rosita in my house no more <laughs> black fun tv that black parental black fun it yeah. <laughs> No more. No parental block Sesame Street. <laughs> yeah, I'm well. Well, you gotta do what you gotta Listen, do. Protect the babies. For real, though, like that shit. Yeah. That shit was sad. But um, it's, it's, it's a way to show your kids it's okay. It's not okay if someone doesn't see you. That part, because you let you them think that it's okay. Them. Like no, mm-hmm. no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the little things like that will make them. Yeah, like, oh, it's okay. Yeah, no, and then you okay. go through life you think thinking okay to be overlooked. Maybe. Exactly. And they carry on into life feeling and thinking that like somebody not paying them attention and them investing in them and it turns yeah. into a whole domino effect That's of fuckery throughout saying. their life. And, and low key, that low key in a little way, that could be like like Caribbean people, you know. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because a lot of shit is like overlooked, like, oh no, we're both uh-huh. are just oh it's you yes. know, whatever, it's just thrown to the side, kind of like uh, like okay. the line that people use most times it's not that deep like what but if i feel a way then it is what i was yeah it always you listen that is like hours. baby steps to gaslighting and you're like, just like and they don't see it that way it's just they like don't. their way it's not even they always see it like that the gaslight yeah tell jamie i'm mm-hmm. gaslighting <laughs> Okay, good luck with that. The gas, the store of not light, well, mm. Yeah, girl, was like, do what? So, so I like me, I tell. So, you know what I did? And then you look at it, you like, bitch, you right, but it's just not. But it still it's still sucks. It still sucks. like, when you look at when you break it down, it's like, you're not wrong. Because it could definitely You're not. Be yes. You know that, though. But you it just still hurts. I'm in place of how to say things and when to say things. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. It's a tone to you. Mm. Cause it's a well good thing. You tell them, listen, I lost my house, my this, my that. Well, a good thing. You're not dead, massa. <laughs> Where's the lie? Where's the lie? But where's the lie? Funny you say that. I wanted to touch on something that I realized in my own ignorance and privilege that I completely glossed over regarding the pandemic, right? What? And um. It ties into the whole like brainwashing and whatever. So like I was doing my Googles <laughs> and um, I was just thinking about like the amount of people that were displaced um, or like left without a job due to the pandemic and whatever other shit that happened. And mm-hmm. it just got me thinking about like how society kind of like brainwashes you to feel like you're supposed to have a job. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it's this oh like God. thing. <laughs> 
I know on these hoes. I... <laughs> And I applaud people like you who are like not brainwashed like myself to feel yeah. like I need to have like, quote unquote, a stable income. I have to have like a job and like, you know, I gotta run, but it ain't got to I'm not going to we ain't got to run ourselves down to it is how I well, feel. Yes, it makes sense. Yes. Definitely got to be responsible and have something going on, something that makes sense. Of course. Of course. Yes. But the it's also it was a little weird because it's like, mm-hmm. what the hell is everybody doing? Like, what's going on? Do I really do I even want to work? Are we are we coming? to an end i'm also, not gonna work all my, myself all the way to the end sister exactly because we don't know what's <laughs> happening so exactly. like and even this little end <laughs> and even with that like a lot of people especially like the older generation kind of turn their nose up at the idea of like entrepreneurship and like being self-employed and things of that nature so like of course they like instill that into like you know our generation and the ones after well the ones after us are kind of getting a better oh, look at nothing yeah they're not yeah <laughs> so everybody want to go find youtube and be entrepreneur man. listen and i low-key hate that word for what it's become but like the actual standing for it i'm just like hell yeah because why not make something for yourself instead of like mm-hmm. trying to make other people rich my only issue with that situation is hmm Everybody is not an entrepreneur. Everybody, that's not everyone's lane. And now in this time, it's like, well, this is what you got to do. X, Y, Z. It's not cool to have a job. X, Y, Z. There's nothing wrong with having a job. Everyone should be respected for what they do. Mm -hmm. Everyone, it's legit. It all comes together. And makes mm-hmm. everything run smoothly. Everybody has a place in society. Whether you um you a CEO or you customer service, it doesn't matter. Food service, everybody has a place. Just like everybody, some people are going to be entrepreneurs and some are not. And that is okay mm-hmm. as well. That is perfectly fine. Some people do both because they can. But don't think because right now is entrepreneur age that you're going to just. A lot of these people been running around quitting their jobs and talking about entrepreneur. And it ended up homeless all over the place. Hello, Ooh. this is what I'm talking about. Don't do it to the point where you end up homeless. Speaking of, so did we talk about this? There was no. Is this a girl was, or something? Some girl? The van life girl? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, Listen, I read about it on Twitter or something like that. Yes, yeah, so did I. Y'all, honestly, just like Sugar just said, like, if you don't have a plan in place or if you don't have some kind of like a foundation or structure or something to contribute to the society to earn you money, don't just quit your job because you know, you saw some rich white kid say, I'm going to go live a van life. Yeah. They have rich family members. They could go catch at everywhere all over the country. Like if you don't have no family back and you don't have no friend back and you don't have nobody supporting you, you might want to be able to, properly support yourself like before and have something saved up to fall back on if something doesn't work out yes like of course i know trailers are cheaper than buying a house okay but you know there's gas there's like gas electric maintenance all types of shit that can happen and go wrong with getting like a trailer or winnebago or whatever what happened i watched a video today on Mm -hmm. youtube i didn't even know elon musk right i didn't know he had like tesla houses oh shit Compact houses, they're 10K. Oh, they're that's 10K. It? And them look good as he. Of course. They so nice and you could legit cock them up anywhere, whatever, but it looks nice. Go look this up. You said Tesla. 10K. I was like, well, I was like, I see what he's trying to do. Oh, Tesla tiny house marketing. Oh, yes, dog. 10K. So my brother would probably, they're all over Australia. Look Ooh. at them. Yes. It's like literally like a little tiny house. Oh, shit. Yes. They got different models. Yes. Oh. I need him to come on one that got like a second floor and we could talk. <laughs> but the we point is to be a tiny house. You feel me though? 10K though. That's not bad. Mm. Okay. Oh. Huh. He know what he going. He know what he doing. He know what's about. He know what's going on. He knows yes, he does. Yeah, they just gonna have to start just picking up their houses and rolling with the bitches with on the back of their cars. Cause shit, hundred <laughs> percent renewable energy. Yes, and it's solar powered on the top. Girl. Yes, solar the powered roof. the whole thing. Yes. Wow. Yes, I saw that earlier. I was like, hmm. 
Let me just put a mic here. If I have cute. Cut you up somewhere, fella could host. Smile, This is very cute. Like, I'm looking at... Let me ask a minute about one the host. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Get one trailer and just hitch up on the back. You I see it, right? Tell yeah. me that's not worth it. Listen. Hmm. Look at, look at, look at, look at. <laughs> <laughs> looking like a go like hell i've been wanting to live on the road for a really long time don't play with me i don't know about me i don't know about me i live funny i have too much shit though i'm a hoarder <laughs> that's what i'm saying exactly like to travel and then come home yeah road trip extended road trip mm-hmm. road trip kind of thing yeah i kind of need a home base until y'all can afford the 10k tesla house okay don't just be quitting and stuff and i feel like it's just it's the age though it's like so much pressure because Mm -hmm. everybody wants to keep up everybody wants to fly out everybody wants to eat here everybody wants to eat steak okay everybody wants to go to the crisp everybody wants to go to the yams i want to go to la i want to go to the city i want to go to the caribbean i want to go to santorini the mild if they're not moving from their house they're not doing nothing relax keep your ass quiet this is what I'm saying, but people don't know how to do that. It's all about keeping up. I want to go because they went, and I want to go because they went. Do I you want really? y'all to know that Damn. pre-pandemic, I was on a plane out of the country at least three times a year. Like, I was in Jamaica two, three, four times a year. That part. I yeah. was in New York, same amount of time, or wherever yeah. else I decided to go Ripping pre-pandemic. Since pandemic hit, I have not been to New York. I have not been to Jamaica. I have not left this country since the pandemic hit. Why? Because men are fighting for tech flight. Like, it's still going to be there. Thank I'm not you. about to be like, oh, these plane tickets are $50. Let me go risk my life. Yeah. Like, I get it. Go ahead. You don't want to, you know, stop living because something bad is happening yeah, it's or whatever. Completely understandable, but make it make sense. But exactly. This, but these people don't have no discipline either, though. Mm-hmm. It's always and a lot of when them, they want it, when they want it, I want it now, and I want it now. There's no such thing as, hold on, let me just wait a minute and see if this is the best thing, or let me delay it, and maybe, because for them, delay is like the worst thing right yes. now. Everybody's so entitled, and they want it now, 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 so everything is like a big, mm-hmm. it's like a big stink. Anything they get no on, or maybe not right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, it's, I want it oh now. Oh my gosh. What, what do you mean, no? Okay, Baruch Assault, like... You'd be like, okay, what? cool. Well, maybe it's just not my time. Y'all, niggas, y'all no, y'all don't believe in divine timing, and that's why people go put themselves in situations you weren't even supposed to be there. Yep. Now look what happened. <laughs> Do things on the time. Listen to in here and in here, not what's going on on the medias. Yes, because outside you influence going on these trips, and y'all jealous. Girl, okay. Y'all don't know what the hell they doing for these coins, huh? You think I'm an entrepreneur? Huh. He's a whore, but it's okay. Because you love the horse too. But still, I'm just saying, let's keep it a hundred. I have seen some stories unfold in the past few weeks about people who are, you know, okay. travel okay. for a living, quote unquote, okay. and who have boutiques and they're selling their mm-hmm. clothes because they are such an influencer. And then come but to find what? out, say apparently guess their what? photographer is actually them baby father, our husband. And guess everything what? get paid for through them. And they scamming y'all because y'all want to book trips with them because they're doing let's, these group trips it. about, you know, oh, let's yep. go to Greece or Dubai yep. as 20 people group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are paying for their trip essentially because they're overcharging you for quote yep. unquote the experience that you're going to have because you don't know no better. But listen, the same way them Google them something that way they can go, you can go Google your something to and go and say, but three, four, five hundred dollars. Listen. People mm-hmm. love convenience to a point. Oh. Everybody likes a little convenience. Don't get me wrong, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody likes a little convenience and you'll pay for your convenience. Yes. But it's to the point where it's just... Y'all getting scammed. They don't even think. <laughs> they don't even think. They don't think. You're getting scammed to go on vacation with a bunch of people you don't know and probably won't end up liking. These people are not fucking rational these days any fucking way. Like, and imagine imagine you spend your money go give somebody for these trips and they stop responding to you. Because it's happened also to a few people. And once they start talking shit, people get loud and ignorant and ah, la, 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 la. I tell you and, what. Hmm. I tell you what. <laughs> I better not know where you live. <laughs> Half of them don't live nowhere. 
Bitch, I'm gonna be sleeping right in your bedroom with you. <laughs> where I'm in my fun. You roll over, my hand is out. I'm I'm here. Where my money? What's, up? What's for breakfast? Like, I'm here. <laughs> Shit. Like, y'all are wild. But, um, <laughs> We like ended up way off what I was trying to you say. Know, I mean, we went on like <laughs> entrepreneurship because it, yeah. it's true. Like I just mm-hmm. want people to make sense. Like it's okay. You're not. Let me see. How do I say it? Sometimes you're not entitled to keep up. They're right. Yes, and some people got to understand. They're right now. Like believe in your divine timing too. Mm-hmm. Believe that you are right where you're supposed to be right now. And stop trying to rush it and stop trying to be people, other people. Just because he, she did it, he did it, doesn't mean you should take your ass up and try to go do it if that's not truly what your heart wants and what your soul wants. If that's not what you want, that's not what you want. I think of shit like that kind of like puberty. Like everybody has to go through it at some point, but we don't all go through it at the same time. Same some time. people go through it earlier, some yes. people go through it later, but we still get there eventually. Like, you know what I like in some things? Because mm-hmm. I don't care about being the first to do this and the first to yeah, show this. Yeah, but want to first. Like a couple motherfuckers go and show me what not to do. Period. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> like, because they were talking the about. Hair. It's not a race. Somebody in the shop was talking to me about going to space and how they want to be the first person to go to space. I said, you can go um, nice. after y'all go up there yeah. and let me know um, what's happening. Um, I will observe from afar on Earth. And, um, you know, if I see enough of y'all come back, I might think about it. But I'm not out of business up there. I'm for real, nigga. Like... Because they saw them little pictures that we talked about the other day. Talking about some, oh, you saw those pictures? I want to go out of space. They said there's clouds out there and there's water. I was like, okay, but they kind of have been telling us about the water for a while. Clouds but, and water? Yeah. So the same thing I could do if I step outside and go to like a beach and look up and then look down and I see clouds and water? Mm-hmm. Look. <laughs> who, who First of all, did y'all pay attention? Did y'all pay attention? Is, some white folks. Did y'all pay attention oh, in um, science class? Y'all don't know about, like, you know, precipitation and how, like, the ecosystem works with water and rain and clouds. Like, y'all don't, that cycle, y'all y'all missed that lesson? Funny. Okay. Funny. Um, just, I'm just people. wondering because <laughs> I be wondering. I'm a nerd, so, you know, shit like that excites me. Yeah, but not not these folks, though. Yes, but um, first one in space. Good luck, though. I ain't yeah, no, nothing. I'm. I don't mm-hmm. even want to be number fifteen or one hundred and fifty. No, that's too soon. That's too close. <laughs> yeah, that's way too. How much billion people on the earth? I don't want to be anywhere near the first half. I'm good with being like number nine thousand two hundred and sixty. <laughs> Something like that. Like, I'm cool. I'm okay with being in the millions. I'm fine with that. That too. That too. I'm. <laughs> because I, think, I need. Because, I mean, at that point, they've had to upgrade it. Went mm-hmm. through a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, I'm with that. Mm-hmm. You're right. Shit, I'm like that with my cell phone. But I'm just no, I, I got full up. You're seeing. <laughs> Yeah. we gotta find out what the capacity is before i'm trying to get to the i'm trying to get to the space station girl you play games i'm not much room they got on them bitches Listen, yeah them things are like, back we've got we have hit capacity we have no room everybody Listen, else has to stay on earth type shit Listen, I'm Jamaican. On a smile up on the self. Come, squeezy, yes. squeezy. <laughs> not on the space station nigga Listen, yeah. <laughs> y'all better know how to travel light. <laughs> Listen. Squeezing when you need for squeezing, might have Mm-mm. somebody sit on a lid on cross the lap, you know. Traveling. <laughs> Listen, I miss yo. When we used to live in Brooklyn. We used to look like literally a clown car when we pull up places because we used to have so many people in the car. Like literally, like at least probably about seven people in the it's car. Like, it's like that Cat Williams joke. That's what, that's what it sounds like. Oh, the one he's like, they're just coming out. <laughs> <laughs> you know the exact joke. If y'all know, y'all know. Pimp Chronicles. If you know, you know. Yes. Yes. Literally. Because <laughs> we, up. with the twins and shit. Oh, Lord. Y'all mm-hmm. don't want to see us go nowhere because we roll in. Pack up. Everybody roll out. But, um, <laughs> yeah. So I just wanted to touch on that whole thing because, like, I know there's like this pressure that people are like, oh yeah, PPP loan. If you didn't start an LLC while during the pandemic, you throwing your life away, Ray, 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 whatever. It's, it's not for everybody. Just like everybody doesn't have to be, (laughs) just like everybody doesn't have to be a boss. Someone has to be a worker. You know what I'm saying? Like different lanes for different people. But on the flip side of that, let's say you're working and 
you end up losing your job, getting laid off, whatever, whatever, um, fired, etc. I decided I want to go look up what the difference is because yes, I know like varying differences of like what the difference is between the three, but mm -hmm. like specifics of it and. <laughs> I was cracking up because I'm like, obviously being fired means that it's your fault. Like you did something why the company was like, listen, you got to go like right. it's a dub. Um, but the ones that was like kind of blurry for me was the difference between furlough and like layoff because mm -hmm. furlough, you're still technically unemployed, mm -hmm. but you mm -hmm. still receive benefits. Mm -hmm. So it's like, we're not working and they will call you back. Like it's supposedly for sure that they'll call you back when things get better, better. but mm -hmm. you're still not like actively working. And then with laid off, it's like something happened. Either the company shut down or they close a department or whatever the case is. And you are released from work as no fault to you basically. So basically the company basically overshot what they expected to happen and hired people that they had no business hiring or whatever the case is, the economy crashed, whatever. And at no fault of yours, you are removed from service. Usually with being laid off though, there's a severance package or whatever the case is. So they mm -hmm. kind of take care of you because it's not your fault. Well, but um, typically anyways, if they do what they're supposed to do. So I was looking into that. And then like a topic that came up um, with the search was like, the anxiety that comes from like not having a job and mm -hmm. it like kind of just like punched me in the chest. I was like, Oh shit. I never thought about that. Like all the people who are like losing their jobs during the pandemic and everything kind of like, even if they have funds coming in because of unemployment or whatever, it's still kind of mm -hmm. like, Oh shit, I don't have a job. Like there's still this sense of loss because it's not your fault that it happened. It's like some people end up depressed or like, you know, apparently having trouble sleeping or not being not able to like be focused. Though. Yeah. Like not programming. programming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. programming and, like and that fucks like, that's so sad. Like, because like, that should not be the case. Like, Maybe because no. especially if like you have income coming in and you're still thinking, oh my gosh, I don't have a job. I need to do something. I need to do something like, bro, why? Yeah. Like, why? Like, it's like all this like shit, like you are raised, especially in our culture, like you go to work. Uh, you, first of all, no, you go to school. Once you finish school, you go to work and then you work till you die. Basically. And you have children, you make sure they go to school and then they work till they die. And there's yeah. nothing in there that really encourages like rest, rest, luxury. Shit. There's nothing in there that like encourages, like even like talks about peace, peace of mind, pe yeah. like mentally Just being moments like of, moments of stillness. Like there's nothing that like encourages that. So like the minute that like certain people, like they lose their job or like they're laid off or whatever the case is, if it's not their choice to leave the job, there's this apprehension and this uncertainty within them where it's kind of like, oh my God, what do I do next? What do I do next? Oh my God. Like, you know what I'm saying? And like I'm saying though, these are even people with like severance packages or like, you know what I'm saying? Like unemployment, like money still coming in, but you're still thinking of like, oh shit. Da -da -da. I know people who was getting unemployment, that were still looking at jobs, but it was like, it don't make sense to get a job because the unemployment was paying me more than the jobs are. Pretty much. <laughs> so it's like, even though you're getting paid more than the average American from unemployment, you are still fucked up enough to think, and I'm not saying fucked up in a way that like something's wrong with you, but like you're mm -hmm. still conditioned to think that I need to have a job when like the economy is not built to survive. Like a living wage is like, <laughs> not it like getting a job is not paying a living wage thankfully the pandemic took care of a lot of people as far as unemployment went but like mm -hmm. that shit just like came full circle for me and i was just like yo like there's so much shit that needs to be unpacked regarding this and it's just like ew <laughs> like, i don't know how you're gonna ever unpack, ew. That. How you gonna unpack that one that one is uh deep it's just like this shit just like I've been like kind of in this like what the fuck since like I've been like looking at these articles and like seeing all this shit. And it was like literally part of it was like, you know, if these feelings persist over time, it may be useful to be assessed by a doctor and or a mental health professional. I was just like about having a job, not about not being financially stable, literally about not having a job. It's nothing in there that mentions 
financial security or fi- like income. It's literally the mindset around waking up every day and going to work. Even if you have a job that pays you fucking five dollars an hour, it's just, well, I have a job and you know money's gonna be coming in. Like what? We're, we're rats on wheels. <laughs> like we're I want so much wheels. better for us. Like oh, I'm me. so listen, 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 I'm on the go nonstop and <laughs> I am not playing. Listen, I'm about to be sticking and moving because there ain't none of them for bitches for me. And I know that. I am so mind blown. <laughs> like none of us, honestly. They're not for us, honey. They're not. That shit fucked me. So um, in all of that, I was thinking about how like my brain is like stupid. <laughs> like I probably honestly need Adderall like in real life. I probably do because my mind be doing the absolute most. And I if I don't write I shit down, I, I, <laughs> I can't focus. I get so easily distracted if like I have like 10 things that I need to do. And I'm like, OK, I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to do this. And I know I have to do them, but I'm just like obsessing over the fact that I have to do it instead of actually do it. doing it. Doing it, girl. But but the weirdest thing though, the minute I write it down or like put it on something that I can physically see it outside of my head, it's like I swear okay, I say this I can, all the time that I have to write it down to be able to go ahead and do it and yes, try to notch it off like a yes, list. yes. And Ugh. that triggered something for me today because I was having a conversation with someone and I was like, if I don't write it down, my priorities are all fucked up. And Mm -hmm. it reminded me, this is about to get so sad. Oh God, ew. But (laughs) trigger warning. Um, I had in, well, it was a my English teacher. My English teacher in high school, her best friend was also an English teacher at the same high school that I went to. And he had this little activity that he used to do where he had us, um, it was a priority list. I didn't even go look for it, but it's literally a priority list. And it's a bunch of different things like family, friends, money, house, like mm-hmm. literally things that people think of. But I think it was like 11 or 12 things. I can't remember the number, but it's a, it's a decent amount of items. And he had us write down one through whatever the total number is, what order, what was most important to you. Mm-hmm. Right. He was kind of like just reading niggas left and right with it. So like you'll fill it out and he'll literally look at it and he'll tell you about yourself like in depth. And Mm -hmm. I had my list and like I wrote my list in pen, but I was doing my numbers in pencil. and I just kept erasing because I was like, I don't know which one. Like all of the shit matters. Like what? Like, no. Like Mm -hmm. and I tell you, I wrote and erased and wrote and erased so many times. And it came down to like I think it was like the last week of school. It was, a, it was, yeah, it was the last week of senior year, I believe. And me and my friends, like, they finally decided they were going to do it. And I was like, okay, whatever. And I remember my one friend, we're going to call her Gutta. And she, he, he read hers. And when I say he read hers, this nigga told her about, like, what she sleeps with at night type shit. Like, the mm-hmm. side of the bed she sleeps on, the position she sleeps in. Like, he, like, went through, like, when I say it was emotional, like, she started crying. Like, it was just, like, a lot. And I was like, I don't know if I want to do this. Mm-mm. so uh, he wrote a book called the priority list and literally since graduation I've been like thinking about this list because I'm like I want to fill it out and I want to see like I need to know what's like important to me in that way you get me like mm-hmm. I don't know like a part of me feels like I need to know what's important to me but it's kind of like I have to decide that like nobody else is going to tell me so it's like I keep looking right. at the list and I'm just like fuck like what is it right and crazy enough he had moved to Hollywood where I lived for a while because uh, we mm-hmm. went to school in Miami and I was always like oh I gotta go visit him I gotta go visit him because he had um brain cancer so he had stopped teaching oh. and he moved to Hollywood yeah he got diagnosed mm-hmm. while I was still in high school that shit was fucked up because like whoo my teacher was his best friend so she came in the class and when I tell you she was like one of my little hippie white ladies like super happy all the time like they were like literally best friends like they came in like brothers but they're like in their early mid 30s or whatever so like they were like us basically (laughs) you know what i'm saying like and she came into work one day and she was like red in the face and she was just not talking we were like what the fuck happened and then like the end of the class she kind of just told us like you know whatever was going on with him and we were just like mr menashe what like what and we were just like ever since then it was just like it was one of those teachers like we had lunch and people would be in their classrooms just hanging out. No, I get you. Yeah, I had I had a teacher like that. Yeah, both of them were like that. So it was like mm-hmm. 
whoa. So I was always like, I need to like bring, do my list and bring it to him, do my list and bring it to him. Unfortunately, he passed away. And I've been saying I'm going to buy the book and read it. And I'm just like, fuck it. I was like, no. But like today I legit like something happened and I was like, I need to fucking do this. Like whatever. So like Mm -hmm. I was, I went on Amazon and I saw they had like a preview available and I'm reading it. And like literally for like the first seven pages of the preview, I'm just crying as I'm reading it. And I'm just like going back to like literally 17 year old me and just thinking about like, huh? You gonna make me look that up on my little book? <laughs> I literally just ordered it. It's coming on Thursday, so prepare to be crying on my birthday, yay! Um, so <laughs> I cry on my birthday every year. Don't look at me like that. You do though. <laughs> but I was like reading it, and like I'm reading it, and he's like recapping basically like what things were like for him in school and like the day he found out and everything. And I was just like, I remember all of this, you so it's like there. taking me back, and I'm just like fuck like holy shit like i like i literally stopped and i was like i'm not gonna keep reading this right now but like i think i ended up like Monastic. at the end of the preview yeah it's literally if you type in the priority list it's no, girl, gonna I come this. up I'm downloading right now to my little book. oh shit oh yeah you do be downloading books i wanted the physical copy though but yeah mm-hmm. send that to me though <laughs> yes send that to me though but you know i'll be liking a little you know preview i'm impatient so like Whew. let's see what happens with that maybe something will change and light bulb will go off or whatever but um but yeah all this to say like you can go through life like thinking everything is like figured out but it's kind of like comes down to like what is the purpose at the end you just sent it to me yeah, yes you did no because my <laughs> appreciate you no because my sound is on on my computer and I just I was like, what the hell who messaging me but mm-hmm. it just comes down to like what is your purpose at the end of the day? You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's what's been like fucking with me for like my whole life. Yes. But it's like no, kicking me you. in the fucking in chest case. as no, of lately. Like, no, so <laughs> like, no, like, come on. Woo. I- <laughs> yeah, it's too much. It's too much. And it make, it'll make you like lose your mind as well. So please mm-hmm. give yourself a break. Yes. And Ugh. It's so funny because I've been like, oh my God, I'm about to turn I'm about to tell y'all my age. I'm about to turn my age, you know, if y'all know y'all Bible, Jesus age coming up, whatever, whatever. And I've been so excited about it. And it's like the universe is like, oh, you got another reason to be excited about this shit, bitch. Cause <laughs> hey. So you just told the people your age, basically. Yes, I did. I said if y'all know the, the Jesus here. That's what I said. If y'all know the Bible, or if y'all know how to Google, y'all gonna find out how old I am. I'm turning 26, okay. y'all. so (laughs) but yeah so just you know go on hold of faith people that's all i gotta say (laughs) no for real real. like (laughs) like legit like don't let this shit drive you crazy but i think we always we said something like this before like extend grace to yourself Mm -hmm. be kind to yourself be careful what you say to yourself um yes the way I see life, like you, you and nobody life not gonna look the same. Like mm-hmm. you run your own race and you do your own thing. Like chill. Some Honestly, of y'all are out there kind of like me, been chilling way too hard though. <laughs> so the universe is kind of like, hey bitch, here's your universal mm-hmm. push. <laughs> yeah, but like, and it's funny, chilling and not chilling at all, really. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because but chilling it, you in the s- sense that you're not doing what your purpose is. Yes. And you say it's that and it's like shit. <laughs> for real and you say that and it's like i've been saying for the past couple of days like i'm gonna start doing my own thing and it's like dog you've been doing a podcast for four Same. years you've Same, been bro. crafting for like two years you've been Not doing enough. this shit and it's like i'm here sitting here and talking, so i'm gonna start and i'm like no I'm not starting. Like I have already started. started. I am now putting in more Ooh, I work. I like that, friend. I'm like focusing. That. On- <laughs> oh, look at you. you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So like, I'm just like, why am I the biggest critic of myself? And well, I'm looking at it like myself. I'm not doing enough. I like, it's like, nigga, you've been doing a lot. Yeah, like, right. yes, friend. <laughs> <laughs> like, can we pat ourselves on the back? Extend a little grace, like, bitch, like you've been doing the fucking thing for yeah. a minute like and yeah. i get like there that was it last week someone um tweeted and was like oh my god i love when i get off work and i see pointless talks dropped a new episode and i'm just like i do it for y'all 
the fact that somebody feels like that, yes, right? It's like, let me find out y'all doing this shit. <laughs> you know, like, why well, here with that foolishness? Listen, Uh-oh. we appreciate you. So, like, hello, say hello. Hi, hello. Yeah, but yes. <laughs> but yeah so I mean it's just literally comes down to like just extending grace and like acknowledging the efforts that you are putting out there and not diminishing it and like the post I saw today that said like you know gaslighting yourself looks like and it's like don't talk bad to yourself gaslight me but light myself on fire this time because (laughs) it's just my mind is not girl it's the culture it's the age my mind yes. is like, I sometimes I'll be on my phone. I'll be like, cat, put the phone down. Mm-hmm. Put the phone down. And I'm like, no, because I'm usually looking at my charts. Because mm-hmm. I have a goal here, mm-hmm. which is part of a whole other goal, which mm-hmm. is breaking that whole thing. Because I assure you, me and my kids, my kids is not doing, yeah, my no. kids will have luxury. I'm not here yes. for none of that. Soft life. Rest. For my wife and Pitney them. Straight soft life for my wife and kids. And, <laughs> you know, my people. <laughs> the women's in my life yes yeah that's what i want yeah i'm definitely so I not like, interested I in like, put on the phone. i fall asleep on this thing my chin <sighs> my i'll be right on trading view slump like this like that's how i fall asleep oh my god and i'll be like hey, it's okay like put down the phone you said that funny enough i fell asleep like yeah. that last night uploading something to the website like uh one of the ashtrays and i was like i wake up this morning like why is my phone under my pillow like how did it get here because my phone be on a nightstand i was like oh no when i look for yo i hate that <laughs> But yeah, so I mean, for everybody listening, for the people who aren't listening, tell your friends to chill out for a little bit. Like, don't stress yourself out. Oh, Stress yeah. will kill you. It'll be okay. Yes, it it most definitely will. will. And I have a problem with thinking like, if I don't do anything, I'm not doing anything. And it's like, yeah. no, baby, rest is it's part okay. of it. It's like, important. Thing, yeah. Rest is very important. Like running yourself into the ground is not okay. Like doing exactly. something constantly, you need just like the computer, you have to turn off the computer so it can reset and chill and whatever. The same thing with your body. You need to rest and like and even shit like running yourself into your ground is not mm-mm. is not is no. Not, um, and like okay, for example, whenever we record, right? Next morning the episode mm-hmm. drop. My body is so conditioned to like, oh my gosh, we got to make sure this uploads. Usually it's the YouTube video that like gives the stress. I am waking up like every two hours to check to make sure the computer is still on and uploading it. Like my body is still working even when I'm sleeping. So people are like, oh yeah, you go to sleep, you shut down. No, no, no. You have to actually be at rest because even if you're sleeping, your body is still thinking about like whatever else going on in the day and da, 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 and whatever you got to do at work or whatever you have to do around the house. Unplug. What happened? I don't know what you're talking about sleeping at night. I don't know what the hell is going on with me lately. What has been going on with me? I go to sleep and I don't be sleep. I be in some dreams and some la la land almost every night. I dream almost every night. Do you remember them? Sometimes and then sometimes I don't. But I be in stories. You should you should journal them. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to do that. Okay, so then make a voice note on your phone. It's just like I don't know how to do it because like when I wake up, it's like I gotta catch it, and sometimes mm-hmm. it's quick, and it's just like oh, bitch, that's gone. Mm-hmm. Okay, and they're so crazy. <sighs> different people in different we dip all over the place and different situations. Is it like? But it's is it so like fun. real life stuff though? Yes. Okay. It's so fun though. Oh, okay. Like some of them, I can I know I'm having a good time. I wake up, so I'm like, damn, bitch, that was getting good. Like that was <laughs> that was. That was okay, and then I'm, but I wake up and I have like work, and I'm like tired, ugh, because I'm not rested. I'm I've been running around in my dreams. Question, question: Have you tried like melatonin? <laughs> I'm just, I don't know if that would help with have like. I tried oh melatonin. Jesus! <laughs> Has melatonin tried me? <laughs> Girl, melatonin don't work for me like that. Oh no! If I remember correctly. Melatonin don't really work for me like that. Oh. No. 
No. Damn. Yeah. That's supposed I, to be like the safer sleep drug, quote unquote. Yeah. Maybe once upon a time, maybe like the first two times I ever had it, but no, melatonin hmm. does not. I'll be up here sitting looking at you. Oh shit. <laughs> and then, but I'm also the same person, like I can drink a Red Bull and go to sleep. So Yeah, now if I drink a Red Bull, I am doing See cartwheels. I have definitely drank a Red Bull and went to sleep. So the only way I could drink a Red Bull and not be like jittery is if there's rum mixed with it. Okay. <laughs> like I can't like Red Bull, Red Bull, caffeine, any of that. No, sir, I will be climbing the wall physically and doing cartwheels. Like I, gonna, I can't. I'm gonna try though, like you said, to like voice note it. I'm gonna try to either jot it down or something, mm-hmm. but I'll be in for hours of dreams, like hours mm-hmm. of different stories and situations. It's insane. The it's like a long movie. ass movie. <laughs> Your brain Different active, scenes. active. And then it looks like it's like everything. It's like there's only one. Like you know how you have like the continents and shit. Mm-hmm. North America. Stuff. Everything is like Pangea oh. in my dreams. It's all connected. So sometimes we're here, then we're there, then we're here, then we. It's. it's I don't know why, but it's giving sense eight. <laughs> I'm yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Everything just connected. They are Leos, though. Yes, they are. When was yes. their birthday? I feel like it was was it August eighth? <laughs> was it? it? <laughs> yeah, it was like August eighth <laughs> or some shit like that. You know, <laughs> I don't know. Yep, it's August eighth. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. I really feel like I'd be on like a. You born early. Me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually. I was supposed to be born another day. Oh. Not the seventh. I just can't remember what day it is. Just not the seventh, though. Oh, okay. Okay. But still, she had to schedule a thing anyway. It was time, so. Mm. She's extra on business. Mm-mm-mm. Oi. But yes. Yes, ma'am. Hold on. But if anyone... Like, here's what I'm saying about these dreams and shit and knows anything I can do. Please reach out. Please. I am tired. Um, <laughs> You can hit us up on any of our social medias. Um, You can send us to askpointless at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. Anywhere you find us, just Let shoot us a know, message. These are very serious <laughs> dreams. Because I, I don't know what they are. Doing. I, love to decide, I wish you can um project what you're mm-hmm. dreaming. Okay, Black like Mirror. Oh my god! Huh? Yeah, that too. Shit. I mean, (laughs) but I do have some kind of like Black Mm -hmm. Mirror type ish dream sometimes, so it makes sense. Oh jeez. Yeah, and then there's me on the other hand who don't dream at nighttime. Like me, I go to sleep and it's just black. Oh my god! So you and the and the woman, she don't she don't dream either. It's just it's like out here once in a blue, I'll have a dream, but my dreams are usually like, what the fuck is going on in my life? That's like bothering me like literally my subconscious issues like shit that i try to ignore in everyday life that that. pops up in my dream like hey bitch we're here and it's like oh no i I also don't mind it because i see my grandmother there a lot Uh, in my dreams so hey mama it's always and then it's like hey Mm -hmm. and it's always good until she's like girl i gotta go oh child it's always like it's always that she pull up she putting on her bag and she's like may i go may i go somewhere and come back Mm -hmm. and then she like goes so Listen, it's always like that. that, that I've had a, great. one dream with my grandmother. You're like, Kari, is it no? And I, exactly. But no, uh, no uh, grandma. Yeah, you're like, Kari. She'd be like, no, love you okay. dearly. She'd have to come see me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I sleep. Mm-hmm. No, I get to see mm-hmm. my girl in my dreams at some point. I will wake up bawling every day. I woke up crying. I woke up like bawling, crying. I've been there at first. But after you keep, after I keep seeing her, Every now and again, it starts to feel like, girl, I might see you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, you here in this one, girl. It's like, it's weird because I wake up and I'm like, I, I saw her. Okay. So I can I feel that, know. but I don't know. I, mm, I don't mm-hmm. know. I don't know what the hell going on with me. I need to talk to somebody. Somebody <laughs> to get these dreams and tell me what's going on. Because where I be going? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Listen, I'm sorry this is so random and off subject, oh, but Dutty Deck's promotion for his birthday party is hilarious. No, I'm see. saying that because Dirty Dancing with Turtles. And look at the picture. 
<laughs> That's legit how my turtle be skinning out on his basket with his legs just kick off out back. Like, oh, he's in the water now. I was about to say he's doing that you right now. You wasn't lying when you was talking about random. Yes, because I just opened Instagram and it's the oh. first thing that showed up. And I was like, sir. Like, yeah, yeah, what time? No. It's time for me to go to bed. Fuck, sorry. What had something to do with that? Mm-hmm. Couple minutes, too. So, um, without further ado, what is this? Box. <laughs> Y'all know what that means, right? On the pocket put the belongings. Um, okay. Yes. So make sure you get in touch with us about this dream thing situation. Let us know what's happening. Um Please. what is this part brother talking about? What time I'm leaving? What time I'm leaving? What? Anyways, um make sure you subscribe to us on all the streaming platforms. Tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend. Um YouTube definitely make sure you subscribe to that watch the unboxings on moldings and things and follow us on tiktok because i finally found out my passwords we about to upload some content don't oh, ask me when but it's gonna oh, it's shit. gonna start coming <laughs> um, so yes you know check us out and that's all i got for you so just like every other episode everything else we do at pointless talks whether you got here on purpose or by fate thank you so much for listening to this episode of pointless talks bye be safe.